University of Cambridge, in collaboration with the Ugandan Academy for Health Innovation and Impact, based at the Infectious Diseases Institute in Makere University, has for the past year been conducting a multidisciplinary study to understand aging in Uganda. This study, which we call Pictures of Aging, uh, was developed for us to appreciate how older persons' experiences are in Uganda. Uh, the project had three uh, components. One was what we call the phenotypic uh, component, uh, specifically looking into the physical aspects that occur as people grow older. And the other aspect was the demographic uh, aspect, which was looking more into the numbers of how many people have aged to look, reach into this category. Then the third aspect of the project was for us to understand how people age but using art as a form of expression of uh, this aging um, aspect. The study combined demographic, phenotypic, social sciences and artists' methods to understand the picture of aging in Busukuma Division, Nansana Municipality in Wakiso District. The exhibition of the artwork produced by established artists and older persons during the course of the project, which was one of the study's objectives, was held at Busukuma Division headquarters on September 20, 2019. Dr. Rosalind Pax Ratanchi, director of the Ugandan Academy, noted that the exhibition was to help get feedback from the participants. We are very privileged to be able to hear your voices because this day is about you. And today we are here to learn from you what you um, have liked about the project, what you think we can do better. And so we plan how we can do things moving forward to help the older people of Uganda. So we have a very exciting program today. I really can't wait to see what you are going to show us. Um, and we are very much looking forward um, from hearing your voices. Um, and it is just to say thank you so much for being on this journey uh, with us. In their remarks, various local leaders expressed their gratitude with regard to the uniqueness of this project that focused on older people. Bejukanizanyo ku skills zebai nedda okulukanga ebibbo emikeka no kuyimba okweta bamba nawe echo chikulu nyo chiyamba nyo omuntu okubanga achakola chi achagenda maso and you have played a very positive role in terms of not only for in helping the health status but as a study center and the area of research because in any community where there is no research, the community cannot go further. Research is very important in the day-to-day -day life, and I appreciate that. Over 200 older persons, including study participants from the parishes of Wamilongo, Luwunga, Chiwenda, Navitalo, and surrounding areas, attended the event. Arthur Namara, Executive Director of HealthNest Uganda, one of IDI's partners on the project, said that the partnership was intended to help older persons form groups to avoid isolation. Tukiriza, nga heres the next Uganda, nchaba kadeba ino obu kugu. Obu kugu obu rusu wagara kuzuku sa. Chobola banti, tuasara u gamanti, haba kadeba nika tuwa kunganyi. Bonaba ise, mungeri yenja ulo, okutuka kumiaka jebaliko. Omu ya suvula, onu nakola ensua, onu nasomesa, onu nakuba mapu, Ebiro wazo bianja ulo, ni tu gamba kwa katuba kunga nye, tulave baini zakuwe jibati ya mubuavu, baini zakuwe jibati ya mubuavu, The exhibition, curated by Anna Kuchma, featured work by Martin Karumwa, a photographer, and Nikisi Serumaga, a documentary filmmaker, both members of 32 Degrees East, Ugandan Artists Trust. Martin and Nikisi, they have been working um, on uh, their own artworks and the, the, the idea there was that they were supposed to go into uh, the communities and meet the elderly who are part of this project. 
and try to develop an artwork that is going to speak about self-perception and self-perception of aging, self-perception of, of being older in, um, you know, in the community, in the family generally, like how do people see themselves, how do they feel, what are their dreams, how can they cope with their bodies who are getting, you know, more and more weaker and a painting and yet they still have the willingness to do things. Another element incorporated in the exhibition was Bruno Serunkuma's work with the study participants. And this was uh, involving a lot of uh, art and the craft practices. But uh, in the field of art, it was very wide, involving um, interactive drawing, interactive uh, painting, and then the craft who are dealing with uh, craft making skills in different areas like uh, basketry, mat making, weaving, all sorts of practices uh, in uh, crafts. The exhibition allowed different project stakeholders to get insights into what the study has been able to find as well as showcase different skills and talents that older persons have. The event was crowned with a fashion show dubbed Self Perception. All the older persons that have been participating on the runway decided what to wear and why they had to wear it. Some of them were like, when I was still a youth, I didn't get a chance of wearing such dresses. That's why you didn't see any Gomez's, no Kanzu's. We're all doing the trendy fashions because that's how they wanted to look like. <laughs> But moving forward, we are hoping that um, we can draw, um, make bigger projects uh, that could still be multidisciplinary so that we can address different aspects of people's lives with the one research project. So we do not only address, for example, medical issues, that we also get to address their social issues, like you have seen through the dance drama. We can do something about fans. Uh, generation within the home, you know, with the work that has been uh, done by these older persons. In his closing remarks, Dr. Isaac Longa, representing the executive director, IDI, commended the team on this innovative study and reiterated IDI's commitment towards helping older persons. The partners who partnered with the team from IDI, we do appreciate and we seek your continuity collaboration in this endeavor of establishing or setting out strategies and looking for answers on how best to cater and service the elderly in this country of Uganda.